Hey guys, it's Remy the Math Person, and today I'll be going over question 266 on SO exam P. So pause the video quick and try this problem yourself. <laughs> Assuming that you already attempted it, let's just dive right in. The question asks The losses due to burglary, bur burglaries are exponentially distributed. Exponentially distributed with a mean 100. The populated loss is between 40 and 50. Between 40 and 50 equals the populated losses between 60 and R, where R is greater than 60. So R is greater than 60, like that. Okay, um, calculate R. So this is really similar to question 265 because it's asking you, okay, so the probability of the losses between 40 and 50 is just the CDF, right? CDF of the function, exponential function, which we know to be equal to 1 minus e to the negative x over 100. And again, CDF means it's going to start from 0, right? So for this function right here, if I take the CDF of 0 to 50 minus 0 to 40, then I get what we, what I want, which is this area right here. And they're saying that the probability that it's between this range right here is equal to the probability that it's equal to. Just take the whole CDF of this function minus the CDF of 0 to 60. And what's left here is going to be your... What you, what um what the pink part is going to be equal to the purple part. So that's what what the question is saying, and we're trying to find R. So this is equal to again the CDF of 50 minus the CDF of 40 is equal to the CDF of R minus the CDF of 60. Okay, so then again the CDF formula I just wrote it up here. So I'm going to plug in that 50 for x here. So this is equal this is equal to 1 minus e to the negative 50 over 100 minus 1 minus e to the negative 40 over 100 is equal to f of r, which is just equal to 1 minus e to the negative r over 100 minus 1 minus e to the negative 60 over 100. Okay, so then now I'm going to distribute that negative sign. So 1 minus 1 is 0. And then the first part stays the same. Two negatives to make a positive. Right? And I'm solving for R here, this R right here. So I'm actually going to bring that, this side, the positive e to the negative 60 over 100 to the other side. So when I subtract it over, it becomes negative over 100 equals 1. Oh, and then the 1's canceled out already because it's 1 minus 1. So this side is just left with negative e to the negative R over 100. Okie dokie, lemon jokey. So then I'm going to take the natural log. Right? Yes. Natural log. Or I'm going to actually take the negative. I mean, multiply everything by um, negative 1. So they get negative 1, positive. Here we go. And now I can take the natural log of this whole thingy right here. Negative 40 over 100 plus e to the negative 60 over 100 is equal to negative r over 100. So I'm going to multiply both sides by um, positive negative 100. So then I get the r is equal to this whole thing right here. Let me type that into my calculator real quick. Okay, so this is equal to 72.36, which is your answer D. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!